Oh, hey everyone, Mr. Pew here. Hey, have you ever wondered what happens to water when it goes down the storm drain? I've always wanted to know that. And my good friend, Ann Messerschmidt, is gonna help me tell me all about it. So, oh, there's all the water. Let's go over there. Hey, Ann! Oh, it's a beautiful morning. I'm walking by the pond and there. Oh, hey, how you doing, Ann, everyone? Ann Messerschmidt. Here with the city of Lakeville, you're the environmental resource specialist, correct? That is correct. It's a lovely day today, isn't it? It is gorgeous. It is. Have you counted all, 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 all of the buds on the trees out here, Anne? Oh, there's too many to count. There is <laughs> lots. Well, hey, Anne, the reason I asked you to come out here is because I'm curious to find out about storm sewer and uh, all the stuff that goes into that. Could you tell me a little bit about, you know, I know water and different things like that, but uh, what happens to all that stuff that goes in there? Yep, every raindrop that falls from the sky hits the ground. And if you um, hit pavement, then it usually is along a street or something. It goes down the storm drain along the side, and then it goes in the actual storm sewer where those grates are. And the water goes down, and then it comes out in ponds. Ah, very good. Now, sometimes it's more than just the rainwater that goes down there, right? And that could be a bad thing. Unfortunately, yes. Anything that's left along that curbside, like grass clippings or um, some people accidentally leave fertilizer out, that's really bad. All those things have phosphorus in them, and they will get carried straight down and into the pond, and then algae grows in the pond, and that's really a bad thing. People don't like looking at green, hairy water. No, and that makes for a very unhealthy environment, correct? <laughs> yes, it does. It's not good for any of the fish or the birds or the dragonflies, anything that uses that pond for Habitat. And the skunks. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. You don't want to drink that nasty water. Yuck, yuck. <laughs> ah. Well, Ann, you know, we have one of our friends from uh, Public Works here that's going to show us what it looks like down in the storm drain. Great. You ready to come with me? Yeah. All right, I think we're just going to send the camera operator down, though. <laughs> Sounds like a good idea. All right, come on, here we go. <laughs> That's a long way down there. Wow, it sure is. Yeah, so now all of the water and the runoff from the storm drains go down in here, right? That is correct. Oh boy, and I bet you if there's a lot of rain, that area can end up being like a river. You got it right. So yes. that's why we have the trained professionals that only go down there. That's right. Our poor cameraman. <laughs> hey, let's use that water bottle, drop it down, and see if it'll come out the other end. All right, here we go. Oh. <laughs> oh, look at, there it is, Ann. It's coming out of the storm drain. Look at that, amazing. So anything that you put down the storm drain will end up coming back to nature. Yep, right into the ponds. So that's why we say only rain down the drain. Oh, oh that's a good saying. I like <laughs> that one. Well, Ann, thank you so much for uh, helping us out today and helping us discover what happens when you put stuff down the storm drain. You're welcome, Mr. Pew. Yeah. You know what we have to do before we go, though? What? You got to get that uh, water bottle so we don't pollute. Oh, okay. All right, thank you. <laughs> See you next time, everybody. <laughs>